hi everybody welcome to our new video today we're going to explain the dashboard for fiat strada um i'm driving a fiat strada uh i just bought it recently maybe a few months ago but i find some things which are challenging to uh operate because i'm new uh to this car but uh i've been using a couple of cars but not this uh, especially if you talk about the doors you see the doors the doors when you close them lock them you won't see that uh, pin which helps you to lock to or to unlock on the door you can let me see if i can see the door here but i'm gonna come back to what we want to do i wonder if i can get uh, some so i got the manual here and sometimes you guys when you buy cars you don't find money with it sometimes you find the car is old yes I wanted to show you this you see this door you see this this one here so when you press it inside it locks when you take it out then it it unlocks i spent almost a month without noticing that it's easier to lock or to unlock so you can see the door you press that inside then it's gonna help you to unlock or to lock so good You've seen that so we're gonna go back and we try to explain here you got a manual here if you don't have one i wonder if i can create one for you guys and you download it but it could be different uh, difficult so look at these letters one two numbers one two three four five six so they name them as you can see them um we're gonna try to see here's the key it came with two keys so this is the key for fiat strata it looks like this i'm gonna use the key to point and uh, we're gonna explain each and every part what it does on the dashboard uh the manual shows us what to do so a this is for your air you get me when you uh you can you can see this is the vent for the air so you want a cool cool air or you want hot air uh this a b all of them and uh, oh one two three uh one two three they show you that and also here they brought you one again because two also again they they repeat one because they do the same thing that's why here they show us with that uh, uh one adjustable and directional side air vent two side window vent so they do the same thing but the position is a little bit different uh so okay three adjustable and directional central air vent you get me so these ones you can you know you can roll them uh off and on you can sometimes make them to look up or look down you get me those are easy to understand that they bring air uh okay <clears throat> we got to four okay what do they say up for you can see four weight points points one two you're gonna see these buttons if you don't understand them three so those buttons they tell you that here uh, fiat say that controls <clears throat> and warning lights those lights when you see them uh, they should be something to warn you about five five this is uh, what they call your sound system this is where you put a radio I put in a radio already uh, maybe I'll make a video to show you practically on the on the dashboard day okay this is what uh, this is where you put the radio on five uh, six uh where six goes six this is the hazard you know your hazard lights when you maybe you're in trouble or you want to show the driver the second driver who's behind you or in front of you that you're in trouble or you're stopping so he should pass you or something else or help you something like that that's where you're gonna sit see number six okay we're gonna see we're gonna go to six and see it's a hazard light switch seven external light control stock okay seven external lights so it simply means the lights are here on this side you get me if you're driving cars like Hande, you're gonna find your lights are on this side they're gonna be on this side you get me so now this is pretty dif different european cars uh they have their things uh sometimes their controls on the on the left hand side and uh, uh the eastern cars like uh, the Japanese cars, Chinese cars, Korean cars, you're going to find your light this side. You get me? So, and also the fuel tank is located on this side. 
but on the Chinese car, uh, on the Japanese cars, you're going to find it on this side, on your right hand side. In most cases, that's the way it works. Um, so now we're going to look on to number eight. You see eight here, the point on what? Okay, eight, we're going to say eight. It's going to go there and they say instrumental pan uh, and the warning light. So eight, that's where they point. They say you're going to find what they call your what? instrumental panel and uh, your what warning lights also you can find some lights there which can give you warning and all that so number nine nine is your hooter which they call the horn uh, or the airbag if it's fitted so they will tell you there that number nine horn stroke airbag when fitted so you might find that the car you're driving the airbag was not fitted and uh, the horn is not fitted uh, i've never seen one which doesn't have a horn but uh, the airbag it could be those are extras but the horn is a must you get me <clears throat> so now we're gonna go to number 10. Uh, it's a little bit good uh, it's a little bit important to for us to learn how the dashboard work number 10 here uh, it goes on points on something you don't see but you know what is there because if you drive in this car you know what is there? You're gonna say uh, a controller, windscreen wiper control stock. So that is the windscreen. Your windscreen is this side, but remember in other cars you can find it this side. You get me? So here, that's when you want to uh, wipe uh, wipers. Maybe it's raining or you wanna clean your wipers. Okay. Then we go to number eleven. Number eleven, where are you? We're gonna look into eleven. 11 is here 11 is simple to it's self-explanatory uh 11 you're gonna go and say what's going on 11 11 say glove compartment uh this is where you put your stuff uh you put your some people put money there anyway you put something there you know something's like it's a storage anyway storage box but even on the book they can give you some different english terms so you go to your what um uh we're gonna go to number 12 12 uh, uh no we done 12 yeah we saw 12 yes 12 we, we didn't finish 12. the 12 button here is uh, a controller which gonna help you to do something uh which is here they say the heating and uh ventilation controls so here you can turn this if you want to if you want hot here and also if you want code here you can do use the same button here so uh you it's a, just a twist you can twist it uh, it's not a pre pressable you cannot press it you can just uh do that people who smoke cigarette we're going to number 13 we, where is your this is where your place is uh cigarette smokers uh here is something great for you uh this number 13 that's where you're gonna find what they call what <clears throat> call it cigar lighter so you're gonna light that if you wanna smoke get a smoke that's what you use <clears throat> those who smoke ganja same thing cigarettes same thing and other things i don't know same thing so um we're gonna go to number 14 ash tray so same thing which goes with the guys who smoke here you're gonna have your ash tray so number 15 here 15 that's where your ignition is uh ignition switch is number 14 that's where you put your key this key you put it here to start your car so you're gonna go to number 16 number 16 that is where the fuse box is number 16 if you have your lights are not working your wipers are not working your indicators are not working you open this fuse box uh, once you open it take out one fuse by one but remember where you took it when you take out one fuse don't take an out another one out without putting it that back take it out check if it's still okay or it's not okay because i did uh one of the uh i had a problem the dashboard switched off you see this dashboard switched off why it switched off the reason why i switched off the fuse in this fuse box one of the fuses was blown up so i went to 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 electrician to pay him to fix this but there's nothing he fixed he told me go buy a fuse i paid him and he replaced the fuse simple things you can do them yourself once you see the lights are not working uh check the globs 
if the uh, dashboard is off, it doesn't light anymore, check into the fuse box, check, take out one by one fuse. Sometimes there's an instruction on the fuse cover, box cover. It will show you that what is that for, which kind of a fuse you need for your uh, what dashboard. Okay, right. Um, that was number 15. Number 16, no, uh, yeah, 16. So we're going to go to number 17. You can see 17 here. That's where we say we're going to open our bonnet. I see one. It says a fuse box, 17 bonnet opening lever. So this is when you want to, if you want to open your bonnet, you go there, guys. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, I'm going to proceed here. Um, you see this car? They give you the manual, but sometimes they give you a manual which covers maybe two models of the cars. The, the one I'm driving doesn't have electronic windows, but there's a Strata which drives, it takes electronic windows, which has electronic windows. So you might find the one you're driving is the same, but now there's things which are known there. You get me? So in this, in the, in, on the book, in the book they are there, but on the car they are not there. You get me? So they show you A and B. What is A for? A for your fuel. Uh, that's what they're going to show you here. They say fuel le lever. Okay. Fuel lever gauge with re reserve. Okay. Warning light. Okay. If the, the fuel is down or low, it has that light. You can see this. This light is going to light up if your fuel is, is not enough or it's about to finish. What's that light? light just know that in trouble you have to refill as soon as possible i don't even wait for that if i see my fuel is in a quarter tank somewhere here i just refill or here i just refill i consider this car uh, i'm driving 1.2 anyway okay uh you're gonna go to b um what they say b here uh b here okay b that b it's what they call here uh, they're gonna say engine coolant gauge so i don't know if the model driving it has an engine coolant gauge i don't know yeah guys we're gonna go on c uh where c that's what they call your speed speedometer uh kilometer counter okay this is what's gonna count for you as uh, uh, you're driving uh 20 kilometers per, per hour or 40 kilometers per hour or 100 kilometers per hour and also here you can see the zero zero you can set and see how many kilometers you've driven a day or on the trip you're going you, you click on that button here you see it will set it to zero zero here up it's going to show you the mileage uh for the car ever since the car was bought how, how much it has done so far so this a d here okay the d they're going to tell you that d is a what rev counter when you press and the car say whoom Okay, when you say like that, it revs. So the rev counter will go up. The more you press it, the more it goes uh, high. If it's here, it's going to be uh, making a lot of noise. Ooh, you understand? So that is uh, the rev counter, guys. So there's a couple of things here. They're showing you C. Still, they say C speed meter, kilometer counter, LAXL versions. Okay, you can see there's a version here. EL and ELX versions. So this one is a TD version. You get a version. You get me? So you can see one, two. As that's why I told you. In the book, they bring a couple of what versions, not one version. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this is uh, this helps. Maybe tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to do another part. The book is big. And uh, maybe we can do also live to see if whatever I press, it works. <clears throat> thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.